Hi guys, it is a hot, sticky, miserable, stormy day here in the end times in Babylon in the formerly drought plagued wasteland of South Austin, Texas as another storm barreling down on us and here on Thursday, May 7th, 2015. Speaking of storms barreling down on us, it's been a while since I have checked in with my, I don't know if I consider Ron Paul to be one of my Humpty Dumpty tribe heroes or not, but he is somebody that I listen to. And of course, Ron Paul, what I've been listening to ever since I started going down this rabbit hole in the year 2007, is about the absolute economic collapse that was coming our way that's going to make that little hiccup in 2008 seem like just that. And so if you've been reading Yahoo News recently, you might have noticed uh, this sponsored story by this, this guy named Porter Stansberry. And I'm not going to get off in a rant into this idiot Porter Stansberry, other than to say uh, he, he is such a fear mongering, I would call him a fear pornographer, that he makes Alex Jones sound like Pollyanna. So, anyway, I guess Porter somehow, probably with a, a sizable paycheck, has lassoed. Uh, former congressman and former U.S. presidential candidate Ron Paul into starring in this 54-minute infomercial uh, where Porter is trying to sell his $50 blueprint for survival. This whole thing is, is Ron Paul whoring for Porter Stansberry, I'm really embarrassed about Ron Paul's descent in, in, into making money off of people's fears, but uh, be that as it may, let's check in as how Yahoo News is playing this up. I noticed that a couple of days ago, this was the number two story on planet Earth. This is by Dylan Stableford, the senior editor of Yahoo Politics, and his story, Ron Paul investment ad predicts currency crisis and civil unrest. Of course, th this is what he has been predicting now since at least 2007 and probably a hell of a lot longer than that. Uh, so anywho, let's see, Ron Paul is starring in an ad that warns darkly, warns darkly that the United States is teetering on the brink of a devastating financial crisis whose effects can only be avoided by following his investment advice. Actually. Uh, Porter Stansberry's investment advice, but of course you're going to have to pay fifty dollars to uh, to get that. But totally for free, we're going to run about three minutes of this ad. So this is Ron Paul pathetically reading off of a teleprompter. It's this fake interview between Ron Paul and this fake journalist also on the payroll of Porter Stansberry in this really hokey interview. But we're going to let Ron Paul introduce us to this and you can, I encourage you, I guess, I made it about halfway through, but I will put the link to this story so you can hear all 54 minutes of this, but here's the first three minutes. So take it away, Ron. Well, let's get right to it. You believe our country is on the cusp of a, a massive financial crisis. Just how bad are you predicting the crisis will be? I think it's going to be very bad. I think it will probably be uh, worse than our Great Depression. I think it's going to be worse than the crisis that we had in 2008 and 2009. 
And I'm going to talk very specifically about the steps you should take to protect yourself. In short, I believe we as a nation are on the brink of a massive financial crisis, infinitely worse than the crisis of 2008. And that's because it won't be a banking and mortgage problem, but a full-blown currency crisis, the likes of which we've never experienced in this country. The savings of millions of people could be wiped out overnight. The stock market could crash by 50% or more. The way of life we've enjoyed as Americans for 50 years could come to an end. It's not a question of if this will happen, but when. So why now? Why are you speaking out about this prediction today? I'll tell you why, because most Americans don't have a clue about what's going on. Most people have no idea that in the past six years we've created four trillion dollars of new money out of thin air. At the same time, since 2006, we've doubled our national debt. I've said hundreds of times throughout my career in the House, prosperity cannot be created out of thin air by a central bank. The people running our country today are living in a fantasy world. And if you're not careful, you and millions of other everyday Americans will pay the price. So, Dr. Paul, what do you think will be the biggest impact of this crisis? Well, sooner than most people think, I predict we'll see people losing confidence in the U.S. dollar as a simple result of investors around the world realizing our currency is no longer the safe haven it once was. And you cannot restore confidence with more paper money. And when the currency collapses, nearly everything else goes with it. Stocks, bonds, commodities, you name it. When you destroy a currency, you can destroy the entire economy. You can destroy the whole nation. The middle class gets wiped out. The way you live, work, travel, and retire, and invest in America, everything is going to change. Some of it in ways most people can't even imagine. So essentially you're predicting the entire US financial system will collapse. As someone who's spent 22 years in Congress, what do you think will be the immediate impact on the federal government? Well, I'm fearful of a collapse, Jared. For one thing, it makes it a lot harder for our government to borrow money and pay interest on all the debt we've racked up, or to expand the welfare state, or to station the U.S. military in 140 countries. But forget the government. The real concern is what happens to everyday Americans, especially the middle class. Uh, how so? Well, for the everyday American, if the um, government's broke, all your wealth, all your savings will be put in jeopardy. We'll see massive changes in our retirement system and Social Security. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see the government take over people's 401ks and IRAs. Why is that? Because doing that would essentially force people to buy worthless government bonds, whereas investors in the free market wouldn't touch them. In fact, I think we're likely to see huge tax increases and even a wealth tax, a fee on all your savings and valuable assets. Can you... Uh Okay, I think uh, we get an idea of what this is going to sound like. So anyway, you're welcome to go on there, and as I say, I encourage you to, but of course about halfway through, uh, Ron Paul just becomes a pathetic shill for that fear monger, uh, Porter Stansberry. But many of you guys, I, I don't want you to think, you notice I'm not reaching for the bullshit detector button here. Uh, make no mistake about it. I don't discount one word that Ron Paul said. Now, of course, what Ron Paul will not say, because he's finally got the brains enough not to say this, is when this will happen. He is not a, being that stupid anymore to put a date on it. It's just, and I agree with the man, it is not a matter of if, it is a matter of when, and of course the other matter is to what degree, is to how bad will the economic collapse be. And so I'm, I'm going to save you $50 here, okay? This is the ham bone blueprint for survival kit free of charge here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, as I, I, as I can virtually guarantee you, uh, is in the book, uh, is physical silver, to buy physical silver. And uh, once again, I, I can hear the howls of laughter and derision 
uh, looking at the price of physical silver today is about $16.20. This is a damn good time to be a physical silver buyer. You understand I am not using the word investor. I am not a physical silver investor. And, I, and, 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 I'm, and I'm not going to go through this rant again. Uh, my decision in 2008 to, uh, to pretty much liquidate everything with an interest-bearing account on it, which, is, which I'm going to get to in a minute, and buy silver had nothing to do with hoping to make money in the silver market. It was and continues to be the way I am going to pr probably naively save my ass when, not if, when this economic collapse hits. And as I just mentioned, the other major facet of how to save your ass in the end times is to immediately get rid of every single account in your life with an interest bearing that, that makes you pay interest. I'm talking about those goddamn credit cards of yours, car payments, mortgage payments. If you cannot afford it, don't buy it. I completely eliminated paying interest out of my life in the year 2008. I cashed, well, with mine, which was uh, real estate investments mostly. Now, I, I did have one house and do have one house that I own free and clear that has no interest. Uh, associated with it. So I am keeping that house and enjoying that rental income. I do advise if you can, and I don't care what it is, if, it, in, it, if it's a tiny house on a quarter acre uh, that you can own free and clear, you need to own at least one piece of real estate to park your ass on, grow a garden, hopefully sink a well on the thing, minimally a rainwater collection uh, system. So anywho, th that's pretty much it. Th those are the two big things. Liquidate interest-bearing accounts out of your life, take the money, put them in to physical silver. It has nothing to do with the price of silver other than saying it is a it is a damn good time the price of silver making it a damn good time to invest in physical silver and past that you, you know I, I mean I don't know uh, Ron Paul doesn't know this dumb hippie doesn't know Porter Stansberry does not know how bad this is gonna get it's going to be pretty damn ugly. I'm every bit as convinced of this now as I was when I ate the five grams of mushrooms in 2008 and pulled my head out of my ass about what I call the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool. The one that Alex Jones, Gerald Salente, Max Kaiser, uh, Peter Schiff and certainly Ron Paul uh, are swimming around in. Porter Stansberry uh, swimming around in and making a lot of money in the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool taking advantage of people's fear. But the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool is, is damn real. And, it, and it's on its way. And despite the fact, as Ron Paul says, that the vast majority of Americans are entirely 
clueless about how close this house of cards is to collapsing, uh, I suggest you look no further than just Googling about these new Chinese investment banks. And uh, there, there's several of them. This infrastructure bank I was just talking about on Monday uh, about Putin putting in, joining the, the, one of these other ones. Uh, America is a joke. We are on our way out. And, and as soon as this critical mass outside of this little fantasy land of the United States uh, gets reached, this bubble is going to collapse. This planet is going to move right along without us, and the U.S., as it should be, will be coming, will, will become the laughing stock buffoons that we already are. So, uh, there you go. I fully understand the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool. Now, of course, I'm going to uh, go to the, to the deep end of the doomsday prophecy pool, which is the, the end of the pool that virtually everybody on this planet, including Ron Paul, Porter Stansberry, Alex Jones, Gerald Salente, Max Kaiser, Peter Schiff, uh, all of these guys who, who completely understand what's going on in the shallow end uh, uh, about the shit storm that, that's brewing uh, are completely clueless and have no interest in the deep end of the doomsday prophecy pool, which is the ecological collapse of this planet. The ongoing, unfolding, ramping up ecological collapse of planet Earth. And the number one contributor of the, well, not the, the number one contributor is overpopulation, but, but hand in hand with that is the global industrial economy with this rising tide of middle class values in developing economies. It, it, is, it is this middle class that is going to get destroyed in this economic collapse that is bringing down this planet. And when this economic collapse occurs, that is going to be damn ugly uh, for, for this dumb, hippie, depressed, collapsitarian, eco-Nazi, along with everybody else. Except probably the, those billionaires, they'll, they'll, they'll probably coast right through it. Uh, you know, I, I also understand that when it happens, this planet is going to breathe a big sigh of relief. So the eco-Nazi in me is cheering on the economic collapse as the single biggest weapon in saving this planet. But I don't think for one minute, despite the fact that I A, understand this, and B, am cheering on the, the economic collapse that Ron Paul and these other uh, fear mongers are peddling and their survival blueprints uh, uh, you, you, you better believe that this eco-Nazi is doing what he can to cover his ass. Anywho, how many times have I had this rant over the past four years? And I'm going to wrap this rant up and uh, 
flip side, I'm going to have some fun in my next rant. We're going to go over to the Christian Science Monitor and take a little quiz to find out how American are we? Is um, American culture your friend? And I'm going to come back with that rant as an antidote to this one in one minute. For this rant, bye guys.